Hi kids! Today we will be learning how we can use division in our problems. So let's start. Here are six pencils. How will you divide or distribute them between two kids? Let's see. For distributing or dividing the pencils between two, give one at a time to each kid till none is left. See? So, each kid will get three pencils. That is, six divided by two equals three. This method of division is called distribution. Now, let's learn another way. There are 20 candies. How many sets of 4 candies can we make from 20? Subtract 4 from 20, we get 16. Again, subtract 4, we get 12. Again, subtract 4, we get 8. Again, subtract 4, we get 4. Once again, subtract 4, we get 0. So we can subtract 4 5 times from 20. Or we can make 5 sets of 4 candies from 20 candies. Or 4 candies will be there in each set if we divide 20 into 5 groups. We say it as 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Also, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So, division is a problem of repeated subtraction. Let's learn division in another way. Here are 30 chocolates and we have to divide or distribute them in six kids. How many chocolates will each kid get? Here is another method. Just think how many times six can go into the other number, that is 30. Or six multiplied by what gives us 30? Memorize the table of six and think. Yeah, six times five gives us 30. That is, Six can go into the number 30 five times. So, each kid will get five chocolates. Good! Now we have learned three methods of division. One is the distribution. Other is repeated subtraction. And the third is Finding the nearest multiple. Now, let's learn another way. It's the mathematical division. Let's learn. There are 84 apples. If we distribute them in four girls, how many apples will one girl get? So we have to divide 84 by 4. Here we will learn mathematical division or the long division method. The number that we have to divide is dividend. The number with which we are dividing is the divisor. And the answer that we will get will be our quotient. 
And if any number is left after the division, that is called remainder. First of all, write like this. Here, 4 is our divisor. 84 is our dividend. Now, the first step in long division method is find the number. That is, find how many times the divisor can go into the first digit of the dividend. Think this way. 4 multiplied by what gives us something equal or less than 8? 4 multiplied by 2 gives us 8. So, 2 is the number we want. Write it in the quotient. Now, the second step is multiply. Here, multiply the divisor with number we found in the previous step and write the product below. Now, following the third step is the subtract. Here, subtract the multiple from the first digit of divisor and write the difference below. Now, following the fourth step of long division method, that is, bring down. Here, bring down the next digit in divisor, if any left, and write it below. Now, we have followed the four steps of long division method. Now repeat all the steps till no digit is left in the divisor to bring down. First step is find the number. Find how many times the divisor can go into the number 4. Think this way. 4 multiplied by what gives us a number which is less than or equal to 4? 4 multiplied by 1 gives us 4. So, 1 is the number we want. Write it in the quotient. Next step is multiply. Multiply the divisor with 1. 4 multiplied by 1 gives us 4. Write the multiple below like this. Third step is subtract. Now, subtract and write the difference below. Now we have no more digit left in the divisor to bring down. Hence, the division is complete and no remainder is left. Here, divisor is 4, dividend is 84. Quotient, we got that, is our answer is 21. And the remainder is 0. If we divide 84 apples in 4 girls, each girl will get 21 apples. Good! So kids, let's take more examples for practice. We have to divide 20 by 5. First step is find the number. That is, find how many times the divisor can go into the first digit of dividend. But the first digit is smaller than divisor. So, find how many times the divisor can go into the first two digits of the dividend. Think this way. 5 multiplied by what? gives us a number which is less than 
or equal to 20? Yeah! 5 multiplied by 4 is 20. So, 4 is the number we want. Write it in the quotient. Now, the second step is multiply. Now, multiply 5 with 4 and write the multiple below. Now, the third step is subtract. Now, subtract and write the difference below. Now, we have no number in the divisor to bring down. So, we can't follow the fourth step and the division is complete. 5 is divisor. 20 is dividend. 4 is quotient. And remainder, 0. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Good! Now, let's take another example. We have to divide 52 by 5. Let's start. First step is find the number. That is, find how many times the divisor can go into the first digit of dividend. Think this way. 5 multiplied by what? gives us a number which is less than or equal to 5. So 1 is the number we want. Write it in the quotient. Now the second step is multiply. Now multiply 5 with 1 and write the multiple below. Now the third step is subtract. Now subtract and write the difference below. Now fourth step is bring down. Make an arrow and bring down the next number in the dividend. Now again, follow the steps. The first step is find the number. That is how many times the divisor can go into two. Think this way. 5 multiplied by what gives us a number which is less than or equal to 2? 5 multiplied by 0 gives us 0. So, 0 is the number we want. Write it in the quotient. Now, the second step is... Multiply. Now, multiply 5 with 0 and write the multiple below. Now, the third step is subtract. Now, subtract and write the difference below. The fourth step is bring down. We have no number in the dividend to bring down. So our division is complete. 5 is divisor. 52 is dividend. 10 is quotient. And the remainder is 2. Remainder. What does remainder mean? If we divide 52 things in 5 person, each person will get 10 things and 2 will be left undivided. So 2 is the remainder. Good! So what have we learned? What is division and its various methods? Now kids, you may go ahead and take a quiz to practice more. Bye bye Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, 
English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.